All right, guys, as promised, today I'm going to show you how to submit your music to Sound Exchange so then you can start collecting non interactive royalties on your behalf. All right, so we are getting to it right now. So, the first thing you need to do basically is open three tabs. You're going to want the Sound Exchange tab, you're going to want the BMI tab, and you're going to want the Zoja distribution tab. Cool because you're going to need information from all three tabs. Right, and you know what I made a mistake and put up anything wrong. So find the song that you want to submit, it must be released already, and then you can go to my catalog, submit recordings, and you'll get the information you need to put in. So you go to add recording and you copy the artist name from Zoja Distribution as I may say. You want to make sure you copy the right thing because they're not even want the letter to be misplaced. Alright, so just copy them. Paste it over sound exchange and we will go through all the processes so you can watch and see what I got. So the issue here is that I'm going to just throw down a recording because it's not important but now I realize that it becomes an issue because the date release is came before the recording date so I'm going to have to change it alright so don't worry about that simple one too you can fix. The international standard work code you find that in your BMI code so you just go to your BMI tab and copy that and put it over the sound exchange tab Why I use those three countries are because when I get my BMI statement or my Zojak statement, those three countries are the countries that most of the songs stream, play and stuff like that. So I'm just use those three countries, alright? You can't use any country you want, you can even just put Jamaica alone. But I use those three countries. Perpetuity, it simply means in and in until you say it in. So, I go forever own the copyright of that song, 50% of it, because 50% belong to the other party. So 50% of it have belong to me for a long period of time, until that changes, alright? So you have to go paste back over everything again for the first release. Then the UPC, the same thing as the barcode, alright? So nothing, nothing strange, the same barcode.
one once you have finished entering all the information and just review it to make sure it's everything in order check the isrc code the iswc code name and everything just ensure that whatever you have submit it's correct all right so once you do that it's now time to submit just click on submit and there you have it it has been submitted you just have to wait on them to get back to you or whenever you just give it a day or two you come back and you can just check your catalog so that's it guys if you have any questions just leave it in the comment section thanks for watching